lot of fur because it will build up in the creases. There we are. I wanted, as I said, I wanted to do a herb black as well. So let's give that a going over. And as you can see, there's going to be a lot of going back and building up layers. with this okay, that's the thing, when you start doing things like this and you start watching other people on YouTube painting, you pick up things and you think, oh I really should be painting like that because it does look good so then you start painting, or trying to paint like that, and that's what I'm trying to show you here I say it's more like a wash than an actual paint that's going on the brush. Because um, that's the effect that I'm trying to achieve with this. And the more you put on, obviously the deeper the colour is going to go but once we've got the deep colours on we need to go back and do the highlight colours as well I'm just going to go over the handle of that uh, shotgun in the black I'm thinking it's a shotgun so, kind of a shot, sawn off shotgun um, I'm going to be using brown for that though but So I just want to go over it just to give it like a a darkish look. There we are. And now her gloves. Oh, look, she's a goth. She's going to be wearing a lot of black with a very strong, bright highlight accent colour which I haven't decided on yet remember on the um, on the character card it was pink pale pink um, I might actually go with that to be honest I think if I use something like Bread. It will be a little bit cliched, shall we say? And obviously the boots as well are going to be a nice black colour. And I'm going to have to go over the top of the legs again just to pick out the brightness of the burst skin against the the black patchiness of the stockings that we've put on her but that is something we do in time I noticed how before I did the put the stockings on I gave the colour to the leg, leg so you could see the colour of the leg behind the stockings because we're still we're doing the stockings effect on this with on the grey background because it wouldn't look right at all and like it is now as you can see it's, it's just looking like black on a dark grey and that's not the effect we're looking for I 
I just hope it looks like she's wearing stockings and she's not just in need of a wash. <laughs> So it's, just, it's the first time I've done a technique like that, or an effect like that, so I thought I'd try it. There we are. I'm just going to wash my brush out a little bit and go back into the black and pick the zombie zombiver up. And we'll start off with the black hair. I'm hoping you can see the colours in this okay. I know it's very watery on this. And that's how I want it. I don't want it too, too thick. I think what I actually may do is on the other characters before I start painting them, um, give the Give the models a squirt of white along the top. See if that would help in the picking out of detail and also some like pre shading. first as I said is touch up the areas on the skin and the legs that need to be done which would be here Much else needs doing on that, that's fine, but it is there is just a little bit. In fact, what I want to do first of all before I do that is just go around the area with the black because that will. Pick out the um, the edges of the stocking if I did that do it this way. I 
And then once I've done that I can, I can then come back in with the um, flesh colour and turn it up there. Okay, so there's not much left of this flesh going either way, so I'm going to have to be very careful what I'm doing here. The flesh tones are most of the black sorted out. Just a few little areas I need to do. I need to just touch over the top of her head here where I've just been touching. I don't know what I've done with my um pots that I had these or some of these glued to so I'm gonna to have to see if I can find something else to why did I say glue to? I meant um I used to have some old GW pots that I uh, <coughs> use sticky tack to put on put these on so I could hold them but I don't know what I've done with those. I'm going to find something else to do on that. Now, I did say that I wanted a very pale pink. It's purple. That's the pale, that's the pale pink I've got. And this colour is Emperor's Children. So we're going to be mixing this with a bit of white. Okay, so Empress Children. Use too much of this Empress Children for the amount of white I've got on my palette, I think. Oh well, not to worry. Now there's not much of this to see. Um, but. There's a little bit there. Naturally there were the sleeves. So we're going to go over this a couple of times before we build up and get the right depth of colour that we need. So if it is looking a little bit washy and watery then good, that's what we want. We don't want to be filling in too much in the line of... Not too much of the detail. There's also... That part 
for Looks like there are, there's like a studded collar there as well. Not a studded collar, studded. Um, yes, yeah, studded collar. And next we have the Zombiva. And we're going to be dirtying the Zombiver up quite a bit. And I've just noticed there should have been some more skin showing. Oh, there is more skin showing there. I should have. I didn't notice that until I started painting this part. But. That's the way it goes. I always miss something when I'm painting these models. I'm really going to have to try and stop putting my finger on her head. So now mix some more of the skin tone. A little bit of nurgling green which I forgot to put on my palette but never mind. I'm not going to bother putting it on the palette because I don't want much of it anyway. Let's hope I can get a very similar colour to what I had. Let's go back to here and do the flushy parts, which is the shoulder here. There's a little bit in there. And that, I think, is enough for this stage. <coughs> Let's 
We'll go over her head yet again. It's because it's going on very, very pale and very thin, rather, that it's uh, peeling off or rubbing off as easy as it is. Oh, it could be the plastic that the figure's made of. The, the paint isn't sticking to it as well as it usually does, but... I can guarantee it's probably one or the other. Okay, now let's get the waistcoat done. I think I'm going to do this on, I'll do this on both first while I've started. Don't touch her head. <laughs> and there we go. This is uh I'm going to get the base coat done, then leave it with that for a while, then come back to it a little later. And this video is probably going to be in, or this part of the video anyway, is going to probably be in about two pieces, depending on how long I've gone with it. But you may already know that. I don't as yet, because I don't know how long I've been recording. Still, do the gloves, a bit more on the skirt. We're going to be going over different, um, doing highlights and stuff like that very soon anyway, so I'm not really fussed about. Um, major coverage uh, we're going to have to go over everything again which I probably will do off camera to save time so you're not seeing me doing the same thing over and over again and now We'll do the Survivor Amy. I'm not sure what that bit is supposed to be there, but it's it's quite uh, there's no gap. So I think what it may be is just a, a way of filling in to make the model just that little bit stronger. So I'm just going to paint it black around that area in between the two areas because it's not actually looking as though she's carrying something. I'm not going to do the backpacking black. Might do that in brown. I think I might watch an episode of NCIS first just to make sure, or just to find out whether she's got a backpack and uh, what colour it is. <laughs> if you already know, answers in a postcard, but I want to start watching NCIS, NCIS properly anyway, so. This is giving me the opportunity. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> now. I 
there we are so far with all I think I can do for this. <coughs> so Amy and her zombie that are mainly um, <coughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh I can't think. <coughs> mainly base coat undercoated. Um, what I'm going to use now is the colour that you like. You see me use quite a few times Warplock Bronze. What should have been what was tin bits, and this is going to be for the metal areas. <coughs> the gun barrel. First, and the sword. I'm not going to be wasting time doing this on. Oh, I've got some work on to have done. That's okay. It doesn't. I can't see it. Um, I'm not going to be wasting time doing this on. Well, I think the studs are on like necklaces and belts and whatever and just go over them straight off with um, the uh, the colour that I'm going to be finally painting them because they're already got a black background so there's no real I don't see much real point in uh, going over with this as well it's not a big surface. So that's that done. And I don't know why I painted the um, the handle on the other one this colour because obviously the handle will be wrapped in stuff to keep uh, to help with grip so grip with some kind of tape or cloth I will do the, the hilt of it I might do I might do it in red that part because I like having a little bit of red in a model. And the uh, Amy is now base coated. And move her on by the little bit to go yet, but I think before I do anything else you know, what I might do before anything else is a little bit of this pinkish colour in a mouth. Looks like so. so. I know you can't really see it terribly well. Let's see if I can Let's see if this will make it any better. There we go. Bear in mind I still have to you know, give this skin a bit of a wash. That will come in the next video, or possibly, well, it will come in the next video in regards to this one. I won't have to leave it now because it's time's getting on.
don't want to go to bed. I'm tired. So, until next time, from me. And the Amy's. Take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>